Hi Harry, we're here now and we're going to do a typical round or natural hydraulic lime mix. It's generally water, natural hydraulic lime and sand. And it's the sand is at the proportion of two and a half to one. So have a look here, Harry. We've got our clean water, it's important. We've our one bucket of round tower 3.5. And we have our sand here at um, two and a half power portion sand to one portion lime. And that's the proportion that we tend to use typically for most jobs. So this, this particular mix will cover things like pointing, external rendering, internal plastering, and also if you were doing walling work and building with it, this mix will cover all those. So that's, that's quite, a, quite a useful guide for people now. Right, let's start off. What I like to do first is to have a dry, clean mixer, if at all possible. So at the minute it's nice and dry and clean. This mixer is just an ordinary bell mixer. It's, no, it's nothing special. Uh, they, they're, they're all over the place. Other people, and we at times will use paddle mixers, we'll use roller pan mixers, but typically this is the mixer you're gonna find in 99% of sites, so, and it works perfectly well. We start off with one bucket of sand first in, and I like to add a half a bu bucket of lime. Now, be, with all powder products, just be careful. You don't want to be breathing this and it tends to dust a bit. So be, just, just, be, just be careful. Just use a bit of common sense. And we turn on the mixer now. So watch out because there'll be a little bit of a puff coming out of this now and it starts to move. Okay. So now we're going to add another half bucket of sand. Some more lime. We mix the ingredients dry now, which is the natural hydraulic lime, the round tower natural hydraulic lime 3.5, and our two and a half buckets of sand, and now I'm going to add the water. The thing about adding the water is you add it slowly, little by little. It's very easy to drown the mix if you're not careful. So you add a little, stand back, let it mix, and add a little more. When you're mixing uh, NHL, or natural hydraulic line, it's nice to let it mix for as long as possible. Give it 10, 15 minutes before you're going to use it. And then turn off the mixer, get yourself prepared, get everything ready, come back, mix it for another minute or two, and it gives it a nice fatty consistency. It makes it easier to work with, particularly if you're plastering or rendering. And while you're pointing, if you're using it for pointing, take out what you need out of the mixer, leave the rest in it, go away, do your pointing, come back, give it a mix again, and it just keeps it, keeps it fresh. Whereas if you put it all out in the ground or in a wheelbarrow, it's drying out straight away. So leave it in the mixer. Now we just stop the mixer because at times the material tends to stick to the back. So there's still some dry material back here, so you just scrape it to the front. Turn the mixer back on. And then if the mortar is too wet, it's really sloppy, and when you apply it to either rendering or pointing, all that moisture has to evaporate out of it, and it shrinks quite a lot. So it's not ideal. So I think that's getting there now for a pointing mix. Maybe a tad more water. But for that 
that much sand and lime, I added about three, three and a half liters of water. Because the sand is very dry at the minute. But if the sand is quite wet, you're only adding a very, very small amount of water. Okay, I'm gonna leave this for about 10 minutes mixing here now. And then uh, we come back to us after, after those 10 minutes. Okay, so this has been on now for, uh, I think, over 10 minutes. So let's have a quick look at the mortar. It's nice and workable. Yeah, that's fine. We can use that now for pointing. So, the thing is, there is a temptation to add a lot of water to get it to mix more quickly. But what I find is, you add little water by little, it gets to a point where you say, it's, it's still too dry. Leave it mix for five, 10 minutes, and you'll find that it gets fattier, and you don't need to add that extra water. So that works quite well for it, rather than putting in too much water in the beginning, just add it little by little, and it'll work much, much nicer for you. And that's it, I think we're ready now to do a little bit of pointing with this. So um, that's it, I think.